and yeah, that's how it happened, and I got pregnant. So, of course, I'm a virgin, and there's no possible way that I'll get pregnant, because you'd have to have sex to get pregnant. So, five months later, about two weeks later, one way or the other, I found I was pregnant. And I told my mom, and she's like, how is that possible? Long story short, we're about to go to church, and I tell her, and she laughs, and I'm like, what's funny? And she's like, she's just thinking about how I bought drugs for different, thinking that I had malaria. I think I had, I mean, I was pregnant. So I took drugs, I took malaria drugs like twice. Took drugs to kill worms in my tummy. But nothing happened to him. Then the time I went to Abu, nothing happened to him. Then I'm like, I told my mom, when will you tell my dad? And she's like, let's just go to church. I'll tell him the next day. And then the next day, my mom tells my dad, and the first thing he says is, we should be able to go to school. And my mind, I'm like, hmm, that means they're happy about the idea that I'm pregnant. So, um, fast forward to getting him, I think I've told you about it, that's another long story. After I got him, I had postpartum depression because I didn't know shit about being a mother. And that's why when you said that, I took it very personal. But because of the mother in me, I let it go. I don't joke with my son at all. That's why I prefer to keep the, keep his story personal. I would rather not say anything about him. But I don't. The fact that you see me the way I am doesn't mean I'm not a mother. I don't have to show that I'm a mother. But deep down, I know I am his mother. And when we all leave the house, you would see what I'm, what I'm saying. I have a friend that we always have issues because it's like with the way you behave. Is it that you don't want other people to train your child for you? Like, I don't want anybody to scold him. I don't want anybody to beat him. I don't beat him. My parents and I even have issues because of that. They will beat him, shout at him, and I'm mad at them. But they have to train him. So I don't joke with him at all. So when people start saying things about him, I take it very personal. Anyways, he's my shining star because I've learned a lot from him. And he le we learn a lot from each other. I mean, I have yoga every morning, he wants to take my pictures, he wants to take my videos, we do everything in my life is centered around him. And coming to Big Brother's house, he felt it even before I told him. So if I'm, normally if I'm going to the market and I tell him I'm buying toys for him, normally he would let me go. But before I came to Big Brother's house, he was very cranky. I was still telling him I'm going to buy him toys, but he still doesn't want me to go because he felt I was going to leave him. NYC three weeks, got back, and it felt like he didn't know me again. So, being here, if I don't talk about him, doesn't mean I'm not a mother. It means that's how I wanted to be. But he's my hero, he means the world to me. And there's a time I've dated a guy and I told him that if we marry and we have kids, I will give my son preferential treatment because I feel like I have to do the work of a mother and a father at the same time. So I have to like do everything that it takes. So yeah, he's my hero and he means the world to me. His name is Kent again, Ayobami Anyansi. And he still bears my own son in because I'm his mother and his father. That's it. <laughs>